Don't be flat, don't be sharp, just be natural. Actually, in this case, B flat and E flat and A flat. And I recently hit 50 subs on YouTube, a little over. If you'd like to join the fun, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos, usually coming your way on Tuesdays. Hi, I'm Barbara, and I help students of different ages and levels learn to play the harp. Today, I want to help you with tuning your lever harp in the key of E flat. The key of E flat is a very common tuning for lever harps. It means that when you're playing in the key of C with no flats or sharps, you're going to put your B levers, your E levers, and your A levers up. So two before C and one before F. As I mentioned in the lap harp tuning video, which I'll link up here somewhere, here are a few notes to teachers. A few benefits of this method of tuning in fifths include that you're consciously or subconsciously teaching and learning the circle of fifths, and you can kind of batch your note names so you're playing all the E flats at once. So if they're showing up as D sharp, or E flat, the student doesn't have to keep thinking about that each time they come to that note. They're doing all the E flats at once. This is one method of tuning your harp. Your teacher might have other methods. When you're first tuning your harp, be very careful. Just turn the tuning key a little bit at a time, about a hair or so. The more you do it, the more you get a feel for how much you'll need to turn it, and the quicker you can do it. Okay, a few things you're gonna need are a tuning key and an electronic tuner. I'm just using an app on my phone. Optionally, you can also have a pickup for your tuner. That's really helpful, especially if you're tuning around other instruments or other people or in a crowd or whatever. Now when you're tuning, especially if it's a smaller harp, similar to the lap harp video, check which way the string winds around your tuning pin. So if it winds this way, so toward the front, you're going to turn away from you to sharpen and toward you to loosen. If it winds the other way, so if it winds toward you, you're going to turn toward you to sharpen and away from you to flatten. So just be conscious of that. So first I'm going to get my tuning app up. Alright, so we are tuning this harp to the key of E flat, which means it's going to have three flats. B flat, E flat, and A flat. We're going to start with the E flat. So make sure all your levers are down. Choose an E. Set, put your tuning key on it. Make sure you keep your hand on the tuning key at all times so that it doesn't fall off and damage the harp. So we're going to play the E flat. Now it shows up on my tuner as D sharp, that is good. So if you're tuning a flat note, it might show up as the note below a sharp. So like for E flat, it might show up as D sharp, and that's good. Okay, we're good. So we're gonna go down to the next E flat. That's good, gonna go down to the last E flat. That one's also good. So now we'll go up. That one's showing a little to the left. Here, I'll show you. And so we want it right in the center. So we're gonna tighten the tuning pin a little bit. So on this harp, that means going forward. Generally, that's the case with the larger harps. I went a little over, so I'm gonna come back just a little. And now I went a little under, so I'm going to go up a little more. And then you can check it by ear, too. Now, my tuner probably is not going to pick up this one, so I'll probably end up doing it by ear. Again, um, be cautious doing this so that you don't over-tighten and break a string. It picked it up. Okay, it says it's good. But I feel like it needs a little... I do not have absolute pitch or anything like that, clearly. These notes with no levers, um, you can tune those either flat or natural, depending on what you think you'll use. After E flat, we're gonna go up a fifth. So we're gonna go with the name of the string, not the, the name that's coming up on the tuner. That string is one, two, three, four, five. So B is next. And on this tuning, B is gonna be flat. So we'll start with this B. And it is showing up as A sharp, which is the correct note, but it is a little below, so we're going to tighten it a little to sharpen it. We just tuned F, so we're going to go up a fifth, F, G, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five, up to C. Now, C is natural, so we're just going to be looking for C natural. Let's 
top one's gonna be tough. A fifth above C, one, two, three, four, five, is G. Now, we have B flat, E flat, A flat, G is natural. So every so often you might want to go and dampen these bass strings because they'll ring. We just tuned the cheese. So we're going to go up a fifth. G, A, B, C, D. One, two, three, four, five. D. fifth above D, one, two, three, four, five. A is one of the flat notes, so it might show up as either A flat or G sharp on your tuner. And then a fifth above A flat, one, two, three, four, five, is E flat. So we're done, we're gonna check it, go back through. Okay, so now that the strings are all tuned, we're going to go through and check by ear. So since this harp is tuned to the key of E-flat, we're going to play an E-flat major scale. Double check that D. check these last units. So it sounds pretty good. As far as using the tuner, especially when you're beginning, if you can get close, you know, so that it's partially turns green or whatever, don't worry about being exact right away. And don't forget, if you enjoyed that video, click the like button below and hit that subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of future videos. If you have any questions, just leave them below in the comments or any requests of videos you'd like to see. Until next time, thumbs up! Today I want to help you learn to tune your